at it again, baby! Yes! Oh, today we have got, obviously, Mastered Ultra Instinct Goku with us, and uh, it's just going to be a full review. We're not going to do the unboxing or anything that has already been done right up there in that What's in the Box segment. Oh my god. Did I miss my calling as a, a radio DJ or something? That 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 hurts my feelings that I'm like present like in a way that is not a good way. Anyways, guys, super excited to get into this. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this review. Starting out with articulation, Goku, you I uh, can do a full 360 about like that. Can do doesn't look very impressive on the wingspan. Like what? Oh, no. But I mean, maybe maybe his muscles are too big. Uh, obviously, got double jointed arms right there. Has a ball joint within the wrist if you can see it. Uh, can do like that, and then if you turn it sideways, can swivel swivel like that as well has shroom ew goodness oh oh this is this is no good uh his, his butterfly joints seem to be a little lacking and weird weird looking uh not cool right there uh can look down about that much which is good can look up about that much which is good i will like to say that his hair is ow it's spiky uh so and with with him looking up we do lose a little uh, we get a little bit of a neck gap right there so not great but that's kind of what it's ex expected uh from these figures when they when they have the type of neck joint uh can do a crunch ab crunch down to there kind of looking all hunched over and limbo style can ooh, maybe sort of yeah well, yeah it, it, it works he's still not gonna win anything can split about that much right there uh, can we push it a little further oh look at that oh, goodness okay so it seems to me um no okay just just making sure it looked it seemed to me that this leg over here was uh, raising higher than that one can kick about weirdly that much as you can see the 2.0 part is kind of like getting pushed to its limit right there has double jointed knees uh, looks good no it's kind of like a, got a full gap right there uh, it's not sporting uh, what I would say Tal was doing with the sculpting under the uncovered knee but it does look like it has a little bit of sculpting right there but we're not in the sculpting section uh, can push his little toesy down like that and then has some toe pivot action uh, can do rip rip uh, like that so much goodness he seems a little tight uh, which is I guess which is I guess kind of good but whatever um, and can do a uh, a regular, I guess I would say, a gymnast split uh, like so. So a little good range of motion as far as articulation goes. Okay, so as far as paint apps and sculpting here, I would like to point out he doesn't really have too much, uh, I would say, shading on his torso, arms, or anything of the sort. However, the shading is all around his uh, his crotchal. Is that a word? Uh, crotch region right there and uh, along with his knee right there. So it, it, he's he's got some shading. It's just kind of like spread out uh, throughout the place. The the little laces look really good as well. And the, the other, the boots, they're stark colors. But they do have, like, I don't know if you can see it or not. But they've got, like, every part of them has just, like, little scuff marks. Which is really cool. It's giving it that battle damage look. I don't know if you can see it uh, with the light there, but he's got some on the arms, the, the the abs, the pectorals, and then on the back here, everything looks about the same. Muscles looking great. The scratches on there look great as well. The tattering of the shirt, for some reason, he just dissolves the blue shirt. I don't, I don't understand. It's a Kira Toriyama to logic so it's fine we're gonna give it a pass and then uh, some scratches on the back here as well so looking really good the 
the, the ripped up pants look really great and I think I've got ideas for what I could do uh, with this. Uh, but anyways, uh, so the difference of the hair from what I can tell is we get a little bit more spiky spikes like ow, 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 Okay, it, it's all spiky and it's all sharp. So that is kind of like the only difference with the hair. It's not completely mastered UI hair, but it is decently close. I guess they did okay with it, but I I could wish for better, right? I mean, to me, you could do Blazing right along into accessories, uh, we're going to go ahead and look at his faceplate right there. Looking pretty good. The underlining around the eyes looks great. The eyebrows are super silver and shiny and great. The pupils, the iris, everything looks good. He even has a scratch on his forehead along with his cheeks, so that looks really nice. Very angry. You talked about his friends, and you, you just don't do that. Obviously, we've got some shading in the ear right there as well and if we can just pop that off you know I've got to gush about those anime eyebrows and they look pretty okay I would say and the uh, anime eyebrow furrow is looking fantastic as well all right moving right along into the next piece we've got uh, another faceplate uh, frowny but he's looking over to uh, my right, your left, or vice versa. I don't know. I'm not really good with directions. And then we've got the anime eyebrows looking fan freaking fantastic. They're shiny. They look nice. And the furrow looks great. The pupils, the pupils, oh my god, the pupils and the iris looking really good. Just very, very ominous, which you don't really get that that aura or that feeling from Goku uh, a lot, especially in his figures, so this is really, really nice. Nicely done. Nicely job. Nicely job. Okay, next piece we've got underlining around the eyes looks great. The pupil, the iris, everything looks good. If you can get a really nice look right there, there's even like a, I don't want to call it a lens glare because I'm not giving Michael Bay any, any, any credit whatsoever. Um, but there looks like there's kind of like a little shining light in the iris, so that looks really good. The anime eyebrows are eh, on that side, and then a little better, but spaced off differently, so that is a little bit of a bummer. And then the teeth look really good. They're white, they're pearly. He's been using his crest, and um, obviously uh, there's a, a, a division line between the teeth, so it's not just one full bah, put the, the white on there. They actually did some detail and the fur looks nice okay crowning jewel um I don't know if it's crowning jewel or not but oh my goodness the mouth looks great it's very dark the tongue is perfect the teeth are pearly white something about those pupils gets me just a little bit they either it's they're smaller or well not the pupils the the whole iris the iris and the pupils they're either smaller or something anime eyebrows looking great on this side anime eyebrows looking good on that side as well oh look more scratches on his neck oh man so so many little small small details underlining around the eyes looks great as well so i don't know man it's something Something about those eyes do 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 you like it all right for accessories and hands we've got balled up fisty hands oh he's putting up his dukes and then for his key blast hand uh just the the, the, the hands oh, what do you expect but he does look like he did something wrong uh with this pose uh, here we got some technique hands ooh ooh they're normal obviously it's just recycle Goku parts, but you, we get cool technique hands. And lastly, it wouldn't be a Goku figure if we didn't get Kamehameha hands, and they look like Kamehameha hands. What'd you expect? Whew. And lastly, four accessories. I don't know if you can see it or not, but this is the Kamehameha ball. Kamehameha uh, powered up little shot with the little shinies coming out, and my god was this a bitch to put together. Holy crap. Putting all these little things in all the little peg holes, it, it, like it was, it was nerve wracking. Every single one had too tight of a peg hole. Oh man, the that's what she, she said jokes I could just hear happening. But seriously, like it was really hard. Some of them are not even shaved properly. Like there's one 
Hold on. This guy right here. Can you see it? Can you see it? See that little white part coming out of it? That means it wasn't shaved down properly, so it was even harder to get into it. Uh, but I digress. That is the Kamehameha Bell. Hopefully yours, or if you're getting one, uh, has it and it, it works out better. Um, I'm glad to see this happening with a Goku figure. Next off, uh, one of the coolest things about SH Fig Arts and especially the Dragon Ball line and Goku uh, Kakarot to be specific and uh, it, it's the interchangeability of everything and so now this part is the compatibility check just to see if all of the recent releases of Goku thus far will fit on this body and I'm really hoping one specifically does fit. Oh it happened! Okay this is Saiyan Raised on Earth Goku fitting on Ultra Instinct body which is great because we all know that shot that happens or that segment that happens in the last final uh, minutes of Dragon Ball Super so you can recreate it which is awesome. On the same note, Ultra Instinct Goku does fit on Saiyan Raised on Earth Goku's body, so that is great. So maybe you can do some uh, some Galactic F Space Force uh, with this. Don't go buying up all these and doing all the price raises or anything like that. Because, no. But seriously, it does fit, which looks weirdly cool. Like, really good. Next off, we have got... Super Saiyan Awakening Goku fitting on Ultra Instinct body, which looks great. Like I said, recreate that last shot of Dragon Ball Super, and same thing can be said for Super Saiyan Awakening's body fit. Uh, Ultra Instinct's head fits right on there, which is. Awesome. All right, moving right along, Super Saiyan God Goku fits on there really well. I don't know if you can see it or not, but the. The color of the face and Ultra Instinct Goku's torso doesn't completely match. I know I'm going crazy just because, but I just want to let you know, like, it's just a little off. Goku Red is p more pale than uh, a little bit of sun tan Goku. Same thing can be said about this. It looks weirdly good, like really holy f oh good, really good. like. I want them to make Moro right now looking at this, but the face is a little bit more tan than the torso and the skin color of Super Saiyan uh, Red Goku, which is a little bit of a bummer, but if you can't see it, then I can't see it. Actually, I can see it because I'm putting it out, but it's not that bad. All right, and Super Saiyan Blue Goku fits on there as well. So it seems like every single Goku that has come out uh, recently fits on Ultra Instinct Goku's body. Now, what I will say is the same thing. Um, his face seems a little bit more pale uh, than UI Goku's torso and neck. So it gives a little bit of a, eh, I don't know if it's going to work or not. And same thing right there. I don't know. The head kind of looks a little smaller on this one but uh, Tanner Tanner looking face and then uh, more pale torso on there so it doesn't really line up perfectly but it does line up um, still 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 pretty good but just a little bit of a difference all right UI Goku stands at up oh, it looks like oh goodness look at you mister six Almost six and a half inches with that tall hair and then maybe five and a quarter at the forehead. So that seems about right for a Goku. So I'm not even going to go into it. Let's go ahead and see what he looks like with some Gokus and some other people. All right, and here we've got Goku UI looking really good with the rest of the Gokus. Uh, about, yeah, yeah, exactly pretty much the same height as far as forehead goes. Hair, hair is all over the place because Goku doesn't do his hair. And then we've got Jiren and Su full powered Broly here, just killing it. Just oh, Broly, you oh my goodness, too much, too much muscle on the screen. Anyways, guys, we have done articulation, paint apps, and sculpting accessories and size comparisons. So without further ado, it is time to look at some. <laughs>
Teas and Gentle Collectors, are you entertained? Yes. Yes, yes I am. Holy crap. What an awesome, I would say, base figure for, I would say, for the price and what he comes with. He doesn't come with too much. The, 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 the biggest and best accessory is the Kamehameha ball, shiny, shiny, shiny ball thingy, uh, and um, that, that's about it. Like, the hand's pretty par for the course as far as Goku. Three interchangeable faceplates, a yelling, a grinning, uh, a normal, and then another normal, but a normal looking the other way. Very, very par for the course for Goku, but I, I don't know, man. It's something about the sculpting on this dude. He, like, it kills it, and the added value of having him be able to change heads with every body or 2.0 Goku body that has come out thus far is an even better just like holy crap it's awesome because you can make shirtless Super Saiyan Goku or shirtless regular Goku which I'm totally gonna do when Uzuru Vegeta comes out so I can crush him or make him stand there and blast him in the eye or something I don't I don't know I try to get accurate sometimes but anyways guys my rating scale is like it, love it, got to have it, and before we get into that, I did want to mention uh, the hands. Be very careful with the hands, that's the only problem that I've had. I can recommend taking the ball joint or taking it off like this, just pushing it towards the edge, pushing it to where it's bending down, and then just popping it off like so because I pulled and um, like some fig arts in the past especially Android 18 which just gave me multiple heart attacks the peg like separated uh, so that is a little bit of a bummer but that's honestly the only gripe other than that really weird shoulder gap sort of thing I, it doesn't seem natural and the shading on the the torso it seems like they went all in on the sculpting and no shading on the torso which sucks because the best shading we've ever had for a shirtless body is awakening goku and that's that's it, it's bar bar none the best one so it really sucks anyways rating scale hate it like it love it got to freaking have it i gotta say gotta freaking have it holy crap it took me a little bit it i sat there i, I probably cut that out but i sat there and like it i just went through all of the things that i liked and didn't like and the 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 likes were so much more than the dislikes but seriously guys if you don't have this dude and you're looking to pick him up head on over to shoptoyco.com follow the description down in the link below and it'll give you that link since you right over there put them in your cart and then boom you're done amazon's gonna take forever bbts is going to take forever anywhere else is going to take forever to get these dudes and Shop Toy Co. has them in stock, ready to ship right meow. And while you're at it, go ahead and throw that uh, promo code LeCompton in there. And uh, save yourself on free shipping. So it's basically Amazon, but way quicker. I mean, come on. Wait, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Anyways, guys, if you like those shots going on in the middle of the thing, Ooh, Vegeta is using his trick once again. It, I, I think he's going to start using it way too much, but we'll see. LeCompton underscore projects on Instagram. You can go ahead and follow those over there. They'll be posting up throughout the week along with Mercenary Tao, which is a link right on there in the right corner uh, and thank you guys so much for watching this video if you like this video please make sure to hit that like button if you haven't already done so subscribe and make it a two for one combo deal hit that notification bell let you know when the rest of my videos are coming out and until next time guys captain out